Hey, good morning, everyone. It is March 18, 2020, and today, as there are no Pioneer or Modern Leagues posted on Wednesdays, we're going to look at the results of the preliminaries over the last week and kind of see where the metagame's at, what's actually winning, um, and uh, what decks are showing up in numbers in tournaments with a little bit on the line. So first off, let's look at Pioneer. Um, I think things are a little more clear-cut there, and there are, because of the smaller card pool, there's fewer decks. So uh, let's take a look at that first. All right. Um, there's an obvious, and I think everyone kind of was a little surprised, at the lack of a ban hitting the Demir Inverter deck. It's pretty clear that Demir Inverter, um, with 35 uh, results here, uh, significantly ahead of second place is definitely the tier zero deck at this point. It did only post 150, and I think part of that is uh, a lot of people are learning how to play against the deck. They're sideboarding for the deck. They're expecting the deck. Um, but obviously, from the numbers, it's still showing up. It's still posting at least winning records in many, many cases. Um, so, inverters, you're pretty clear tier zero. Um, after that, there's a also a pretty well-defined tier one. Um, six different decks with a variety of approaches. So right below the top, it's kind of a healthy metagame here. We've got Mono White Devotion um, eking out uh, over the top of Bant Spirits. So you've got an aggro combo deck first. You've got a tempo deck second. Azorius Control is next there. Um, so you've got Control uh, represented uh, mono red aggro in its various flavors um, then mono green walkers and sultide delirium after that so you've got some mid-range you've got aggro you've got control you've got tempo you've got combo all represented here in tier one and frankly that's kind of healthy um, it would be interesting to see what would happen if De demir inverter got nerfed a little bit um, maybe taking out Dig um, might help here, but I'm not too sad with the state of things right now for Pioneer. After that, and you'll notice here, we were at 12 decks represented over the, I believe, six preliminary events over this time frame. The next deck is only at five, so there's a clear delineation between the Tier 1 and the Tier 2. These all had five decks showing up. Um, so this white-blue devotion is mostly a mono-white devotion deck, similar to the one we saw earlier, but it does splash blue for a couple of cards. I believe Reflector Mage and Teferi are the, the main cards people splash for. Uh, then you have in Soul Artifacts, the Golgari Stompy deck, that kind of made a splash at the, uh, at the Pro Tour. Uh, the Orzhov Auras deck, also that made the splash at the uh, Japanese uh, Players Tour. Five color Niftalite, it's still hanging around. It hasn't completely been killed off. Mono Black Aggro is still around as well. And then the Simic Ramp deck, which is mostly a green ramp deck, but it splashes blue for uh, Uro. And I believe it's also running uh, Hydroid Crisis in many cases. Um, and there's a couple of blue cards in there. So it's mostly mono green ramp, but it's really Simic. Uh, and then after that, um, we drop down to three, so those were all fives. Now these are threes, twos, and ones. Um, down here, Lotus Lotus Breach is only a two of. Um, you've got the blue-white variant on Spirits. Um, all of the top row here on the one ofs managed a four, a single four-one finish. The bottom row here was just a single three-two. So these are decks you will see around, uh, but I wouldn't expect to see them very often. Um, or they're not performing well, one of the two. Um, but that's kind of pioneer over the last week. It'll be interesting to see how uh, things develop here over the next week with more and more people playing online. Um, and we'll see what happens to particularly the top of the metagame over here in the next week. All right, let's shift to modern. There were five preliminary results posted over the, the last week. And we have two kind of clear top decks here, what I would call the Tier 1. That's Bant, Snowblade, and Eldrazi Tron. There was uh, this 
time period did cover one preliminary result before the Once Upon a Time ban, but there were only two decks that used Once Upon a Time that showed up in that preliminary, and that was one Eldrazi Tron deck and one Urosa deck that we'll get to in a minute. Um, but yeah, Bant Snowblade and Eldrazi Tron seem to be kind of the top of the metagame right now on what's showing results. Um, and then after that, we kind of have a tier one and a half, I would call it. Um, I don't want to go down all the way to tier three and tier four. I think that's kind of crazy. But Tron, Dredge, Mono Red Blitz, and Jund seem to be the next level of what's going on in Modern. Um, as we've talked about, Dredge will cycle up and down given the amount of graveyard hate in the format. Jund is always around. Mono Red Blitz has kind of replaced Burn as the red-based aggro deck of choice. Um, and then Tron is Tron, right? Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. Uh, the feeling right now is it's pretty good, and it is showing results. Under that, you've kind of got a Tier 2, and we'll we'll see on the next page a little bit more here. Um, Uroza, that's the Uro Urza Simic deck. Um, it, it's mostly Simic. Sometimes it splashes a third color. Um, that one has been uh, showing up quite a bit lately. Humans is still around. Um it's getting tweaked a bit. There's various builds of it, but uh, Humans is still a factor in the metagame. And then the Artifact Breach deck that kind of made a splash a couple of weeks ago when um, I think it was Pascal Maynard posted a tweet saying, this is the best deck I've ever played in Modern. It's not really close, etc., etc. Of course, hyperbole Magic players being Magic players. Um, but the deck is firmly placing itself in Tier 2 here. Um, and it's new... So there will be renovations on it. There will be adjustments. Um, but do watch for that deck. So right under this, we got a bunch of four threes and ones. It's modern, right? You could see anything show up at any time. The asterisks here are decks that did post 5-0 results. So Burn, Infect, and Demir Wurza all managed 5-0s out of uh, the last week of preliminaries. Um, but... Here is where you're seeing, and one thing notice on that last page, there were no Titan decks in that list. Now we're starting to see them here. Amulet Titan shows up here, um, and then Titan Shift, Scape Shift. You'll notice some misspellings on here. Those are intentional because I'm getting some weird formatting errors with Google Slides, making words disappear when they're spelled properly. I have to show you this in action. It's kind of cool. Uh, anyway. Um, it's modern, right? You could see almost anything here. Um, you've, we've got some old favorites, Kiki Cord, Bogles, um, Elves, Mono Blue Tron, Ad Nauseam, Storm. Um, this Mono White Aggro deck is not a Heliod combo deck, it is, and it's not Death and Taxes or anything like that. It is a White Aggro deck. Um. Uh, blue eye control pretty much your standard uh, things you will find in a largish modern tournament um, so that's the metagame right now uh, it's looking pretty good I kind of like where uh, you know there's no abusive decks here at the top of the performance results um, the big question I've got, of course, is around Inverter and Pioneer. We'll see how the metagame develops, how Wizards wants to handle that. Um, but things kind of look pretty good right now. So, uh, yeah, that's our that's our weekly look at the metagame. Uh, stay healthy out there, and we'll talk to you again later. Bye-bye.